Owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And I'm out here at my lakeside location, and this is the Bolero Nextorio, and this is my place. I've had a lot of people ask about the parking situation and what part of my lot I lost. Well, as you can see, I lost everything along here. That's three or four spots. From there, everything, this I had a spot or two here, but then everything from, well, right here, my line, right here on was mine. So I had six spots here, nice six, excuse me, I had nine spots here. I had three rows of cars here. So, let me three, four, five, six, I can't count. Six spots here, seven, eight, there you go. I had eight spots, counting to right here. Now, this is where the fence was. This used to be my gate, right here. Boom, this was the gate. So, besides those eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I lost 14 spots right here. And then you can count that as 15, 16. I've lost between 15 and 16 spots. And not only that, it's changed the way that this whole thing works, and it really don't work. That's just all there is to say about it. The way it got put in, I got wood here to go over my gulch. And the way he boxed me in, my RV got boxed in to a nice W140, by the way, to where now I'm going to have to move it somewhere. I don't have where to move it to. I just did a review of it. I'm going to try and sell it where it sits as soon as I can. But that should be pretty easy to sell. Truck, I haven't detailed yet. The Infinity is sold. I need to detail it today or tomorrow. This week. How's that? <laughs> we'll just go with that. Um, the Lincoln, I don't care about. Um, the truck, I need to sell. The Caddy, I need to go. This I had a friend screw me on and string my dick along for fucking four months and then not take it. So whatever on those nice awesome friends. I believe this one is sold at the 560. So the caddy I don't care about. I need to get it going. This Lincoln I care about, but I want to sell it. I need to get the fuel pump in this. I might just take that somewhere and forget I own it. And the GTA needs to go. Mercur is sold. So honestly, as far as details go, I got the truck over there, the W140, and the truck over here. This F350, that's three of them. Uh, this is detailed now, which is nice, and it can go. Volvo needs to go cheap, BMW needs to go cheap. Then I can detail the caddies. This caddy is sold. The minute I can detail these two caddies and the GTA, it'd be nice to get rid of those three. These two, I don't know, man. So many cars, so many cars. And then I've been in and out a bit. As you can see, the raccoons just straight split the stuff right open, take anything they want. I got possums and coons. They spread stuff everywhere to where it's just a mess. It's just a mess. Well, one on a car guy one on a car guy.com and I'm gonna start from a different end of this today there's a breeder doe there's a breeder doe she's out to do her morning business the weeds have overgrown the possum has had her babies and they're tearing apart look at this they're straight walking right up the bags I've got too many trash bags out here they're spreading it all over I got this thing to get out of here so I got some stuff at the same time I got this here thing. Actually, didn't think you'd be here right yet. Huh? I didn't think you'd be here right yet. Hey, but she'll want to see you too. <laughs> she knows it's you. Hey. Did you see Grandpa? <laughs> yeah. 
she just woke up when I came outside. I asked her, want to go see Grandpa? And she got out of bed. <laughs> you see that picture Mom posted? You got that little stuff thing that looks like reader? Oh, yeah, what is it? Like a head? It's eerie. It looks yeah. like a beagle head. It is. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It is kind of weird. <laughs> it's like a stuffed beagle head. Yeah. Quick video of Breeder with the new toy that looks kind of like him. She's going to think she's getting left in about one minute here. You hear her jumping over. <laughs> there you go. She's boing, boing, boing. Trash, junk, and all kinds of stuff to pick up. I put this bad boy on the charger last night, and I'm hoping it took a charge. Now let's get in here and see our check engine light. Most likely. Even if not, gonna have reset the computer to where now I have to drive it a hundred miles or something. Well I got the trunk done and now we're just vacuuming and vacuuming and more vacuuming. Yeah you know, this one's already been done. So I actually put five thousand miles on it. Oh no. It's been breeder needed. Oh no. Oh, breeder. Okay, I got a guy here to haul trash. Junk. How's it going? Good. Oh yeah, I know. I, I've done it a few times. Uh, Every year. Uh, yeah. That's the most I can go, man. Yeah. It's not gonna work out for me. I'm okay. That sounds good. I wanted to come and take a look. Oh yeah, yeah check it out for sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, man. If you rent a U-Haul, you might save some money. Then. Oh yeah, if I rent a U-Haul, it's just 80 bucks, load it up and take it. Yeah, you just gotta make sure that you get it all on one trip. Because they charge Oh, I know it. how that goes. It goes by the mile. Oh, no, no, I mean it's not the dumping piece. Oh, well, of course, yeah. of course, yeah. They have a minimum. Oh yeah. One ton or whatever, $42 one ton or whatever. You get it, you gotta get it all on one trip. Otherwise you have to pay twice, you know? Yeah. Thanks for Have fun, man. Yeehaw. More car washing. I'm going to make a video on me needing help. Because I do. As much as I don't want it, I don't want to deal with the problems that come with it. I know there's somebody out there that has a brain that can wash a goddamn car. Fuck. Okay. Yeehaw. By the time these things leave, I've washed them way too many times. Well, I threw my back out in a really weird manner. I was lifting weights, just doing simple little back exercises. And next thing you know, I felt something give. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it easy on the next set. So I did. About the fourth rep, 
I was doing curls and I had to drop them. It was awful, man. It's been about four days of that. And it's really hard to move my arm. I got this disc in my back. It's giving me hell. So, makes this more challenging to say the least. Yeah, buddy. I do enjoy this. Which is why I don't enjoy having someone do it that has no clue. Because it's so fucking easy. Watch the car, watch the car. You know. Well, dad's coming by. And I started throwing all these pretty rags in here, and then I find this. This is how good my people keep track of stuff here. Not only that, they've got them. Oh, jeez. So funny. No, it's not funny. It's sad. I just gotta shut my door. Huh? I just gotta shut my door. Okay. What uh, would you? Here. What would you do with all your rags? I found that one at first. Uh, yeah. I'll look, um, I don't think any of those are gonna work. This one isn't the one? I'll look. No, I think they're so old. I'll look when we go. I think that's so old that, like, it's just, like, really old. Really? Like, like, yeah, I think I got you with this with you, like, nine, ten years ago. Eight, nine, ten years. Time goes fast. Fifteen times optical. I'll look. I'll look. That's, it'll make videos. But not to the quality of today's stuff, I don't think. What would you do with all your rags that are molded? Molded? Not really bad mold. Oh, I'm gonna, I think. Yeah. Just to fucking put a gallon of bleach in with them and yeah. some degreaser. You know, I bought some rags the other day. Yeah. Work. What? Ripped up them kind of shirts and stuff. <laughs> I hate to throw them all away. I've got like $200 worth of rags or terry cloth and microfiber. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Yeah, I figured he'd say that. It's just where we're at with it. We ain't high class. We're gonna wash these things up. It's what God made a laundromat for. It's to wash things you don't want to wash in your house. Hello. How are you? <clears throat> The chicken bacon Swiss sandwich only, with the bacon well done. <coughs> they don't have sauce or nothing on it, does it? It has plenty of mustard. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah, I don't want it on there. Okay. And, um... I want, uh, what sandwich has a lot of beef? A lot of meat. So Max? Max? No cheese, <laughs> don't eat cheese. Just the max. And a uh, bottle of water. I got it. Does this come with cheese? Uh, yeah. It's like, it's a, no, I got it. Do you have change? I got $50. I got an L. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Sorry. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, 
two fifties. I got two fifties, yeah. You're better off than when you came in. Yeah, I made money on this deal. We at least got change. Dude, throw in there one of them turkey sliders. Yeah. Sorry. That don't have sauce, does it? Just cheese. Don't keep that. I was going to steal his. I thought he had some coming. Oh, I'm out of here. Power washer loaded up. Breeder loaded up. For reason, she hasn't quite figured out this whole pickup truck thing. Have you, girl. Have you, girl. Okay, well, I'm on the road. Well, I've been sitting in traffic for quite a while. This guy ran off the road. Boom! Over the railing. Oh shit, man. Ain't no backing that out. El Camino rental. Holy shit, it's a good drop to where he went down, too. Yeehaw. 50 Li. There's a Tesla up there. The cars you see here. In this area, you see a lot of cool cars. Some kind of Ferrari. I don't know what it is. The tail lights look nice. British Massachusetts. Boy, you drove that thing out here from Masters? Mitch Tuchis. Matthew Tuchis. Yeah. Oh, you, you can't take on the straight six Ford F-150. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I got here for you today is a complete car detail. Beautiful day. I'm up here at my friend's place, and I got the power washer here. I had some decks to do and some stuff to wash. We're doing a backyard project and things here. So I just boom, brought everything with me to do a truck here. Um, I'm going to give you the complete walk around beforehand. And you'll notice things like this are going to completely clean up. The wheels are going to look amazing. This stuff is going to look just fantabulous. All this will come out, of course. Um, it's just been sitting around. It's got clear coat damage everywhere. And you can really see it in here. Um, Looking down the sides, it's a clean Eddie Bauer truck. I like making that stuff pop. Um, this one's got a carpet kit in it. There might be stuff in there. It's a GTB truck, which it, look at all the clear cuts gone off the whole side, which is a um, government rig. Got the nice seats. Uh, floor and everything, I'm gonna do some detailing on it. I'm gonna show you under the hood right now because that's gonna be the major, major thing I do first right now. Clean underneath it and such. It's not dirty, but as you can see, there is oil on it. Down the frame, it's clean. Clean, clean truck, look at this. Still got the old coffee can days. Right up till 96, 95, 95, imagine that. Can in on it, that straight six down there is gonna look like something else with Anything done on it. Okay, well, look at this. All this is going to look beautiful. Beautiful truck. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll clip more in in a second. I'm going to do it to it. Okay, I'm getting into this thing. A lot can be said for just getting wet beforehand. Before you get too much into the motor, I like to have it running. Just running. This is going to be... 
do in a driveway. Better than every video. I'm say it more. You gotta get a power washer. If you don't have one.
I like it. I it looks good. Okay, well, I've got the motor most of the way done. Breeder! Tires and wheels. But in between all this, I had to bring all my rags and such with me. Oopsie doopsie. I almost took off without my tank. Damn it. So. Off to the laundromat. Off to the laundromat. So I made a video today on the way up. Employee video. Looking for help again. And I do this time to time. Maybe someday I'll find good help. Who knows? That's doubtful. <laughs> If you know, if I had good help, we could both make a lot of money. But somebody has to be able to do the dance. You don't just jump in and hustle cars. You don't just sell cars and refurbish and sell cars. Very few people do what I do. And the ones that do what I do are probably already doing what they're doing. Okay. 
One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Just got my wheels and tires washed, got my under the hood done most of the way. I left this to show a before and after. It's just really nice to scrub this stuff down. And along that lines, when you're selling your car, you want to get maximum value out of it. Breeder, stop it! And to get maximum value out of it, there's some things that stand out more than others. Now this doesn't stand out a lot, but it's something I like to do on them for sure. Look at this. It's just years of grind. And watch this, I'm gonna power wash that. It's built out of wood or concrete? Concrete, that one's good. Rogue one looks better. Not a last one. Yeah, well, I think it may have done, I may have, I think it's done. For fun or to actually show what this stuff will do? Bo a little bolt. <laughs> cool. Hi there, customer. And now Russia's pissed off that we bombed their airstrip. Oh, yeah. And they're sending ships over to our ship, apparently. Now, this has a two part epoxy over it, but he took a base color. And now, yeah. some of these things they've got the. But this this was just bare concrete. Cool. This has a two part epoxy on it. Do you guys sell the epoxy too? Yeah. So you probably wouldn't need the two No, it's too you slick for that. But so you did a base color and then you took this black, um, a black and a dark brown. So basically, the sealer would be the epoxy no. for me. Yes. Not black. Yeah, no, you don't need the two part. So, but can I see how pretty that was? That's really nice. That was just boring gray concrete when they started. Yeah, that's nice. So. Looks like marble or granite now. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Okay, you're the best. Oh, thank you. Uh, scrubby broomies thing? These right here? Bam. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Does that help? Or? That helps a lot. If you want to do the granite group, that's fine. She's going to have fun stuff to look at all night. Yeah, and it's just that would be a nice way to do the patio. Or the floor. Really? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Okay. You got borax. Borax? Yeah, just regular old borax. Not Powder. Borax. Brand. But I don't care about that. Just powder. Because Ajax and Comet are more, more or less the same thing. Ajax and Comet are the same thing. Yeah. Throw it on concrete, huh? You, uh, what are you doing anyways? I'm gonna scrub. Some, I'm gonna scrub my walkway. Okay, this would be fine. Probably gonna need a lot of it though. Um, is is, is it uh? Is it like a, is it uh, greasy at all or? A teeny bit, I got this stuff. We actually also have. We got that stuff. We also have. Okay, yeah, that, that's good too. I have this other stuff. What's up, honey? Hey, where's the rotor tiller? Rotor is gonna be on aisle three. Um, left hand side, it, we, 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 only, we only don't have a big selection of them though. What kind of tree is that? Japanese maple. How much is that? 80 bucks or so? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, not bad. Will cap get pretty big? Uh, they get like 8 to 10 feet, but we're going to keep it trimmed in our patio area. No, like we're Just looking... Kind of train it like a bonsai, kind of. Oh, cool. Yeah, we have Can you answer... A up in our house in Seattle. It's huge. That's nice. Can you answer a bunch of dumb questions about plants? Probably not. Can he? Can somebody? Who would I talk? That lady? No, that lady don't work here. She probably oh, knows though. <laughs> okay. Car guy, one on a car guy I'm gonna do a detail on this truck. I'm in a different place right now. We're actually doing some yard work here, and um, concrete work. So, gonna put concrete all here in the whole backyard. This truck is awesome, and I actually have a small piece of the motor. That I did not finish. It's just the hood. I think I want to do that. And then I might show a few little somethings here as I detail away. But see, I did that half. I didn't do that half. For the most part, I'm a little bit over. Recording and doing everything. Just sick of it. Takes a lot of work.
and I'm just sick of it. What can I say? Wow. There's like glitter on there. Huh. Get rid of that too. Healing everywhere. I want to feel as much more off as I can.
see this one's all shinier and this one's all not and I've been tinkering away at this I got this side and the front and the back pretty much washed and then I ran out of fuel so kind of started on this For the heck of it okay well I'm working on the interior and one thing that gets a lot of wear on pedals clutch pedals low miles even clutch pedals get wear 